Okay, so welcome back. And now we're going to do another example uh, about trades management. So let's say we've got a scenario, I'm going to read it to you, where we've got a bunch of different workers, different employees that work for a company, and we want to find out the total number of employees that are, are working in a situation or for the company, and so on. So let me read the problem to you, and then we're, uh, and again, these numbers go with what I'm going to read, so I didn't write out all the different types of workers, but again, watch, just listen, and, and again, take notes. So it says, during the three-year construction, uh, during the three-year construction of the Wilshire Grand Center in Los Angeles, a number of workers from nine different trades were needed. First estimates, the first estimates were as follows. 2421, so 2,421 iron workers, 1,853 carpenters, 1,466 concrete contractors, 1,198 electricians, 908 mechanical contractors, uh, 740, 747 stone and tile contractors, 587 elevator contractors, 462 plumbers, and 121 glaziers. What was the total number of estimated trades workers needed for the project? Okay, so this is an addition problem, right? So what I did was I set up those numbers from each of the nine trades. And so the first thing we want to do is, you know, estimate these, right? And so th in this case, we're going to deal with this, we're going to round to the nearest hundred, right? When we're dealing with large numbers like this, just round to the nearest, in this case, I would round everything to the nearest hundred, see what we come up with. So this is going to give me 2,400. This is going to give me what? 2,000. And then this is going to give me uh, 1,000. Oh, sorry. Nearest hundred. I'm running to the nearest thousand, sorry. So 2,400. This is, oh, 1,900. This will give me 1,500. This will give me 1,200. And this will give me 900. And this will give me 700. 600. 500. And 100. And so if I add all of these up, I'm going to get, uh, what, 9,800. Yep, 9,800. Okay, so my answer should be close to 9,800. So let's add, right? So I'm going to add right to left. Again, you can add, I can also add it left to right. Okay. And so how do we do this? So I add the ones column up, and what do I get? I get 10, 18, 26, uh, 33, 40, so 43. Okay, and I carry the four to the tens column, and then I'm gonna add the tens column, so I'm gonna get four plus two is six, plus five is 11, plus six is 17, plus nine is 26, plus four is 30, plus eight is 38, plus six is 44, plus two is 46. And so I'm gonna stick six in the tens column and carry the four. And again, I'm gonna add down the hundreds column now. So I'm gonna get four plus four is eight, plus eight is 16, plus four is 20, 21, um, uh, 21, 30, 37, uh, 37, 42, 46, 47. So I'm going to put 7 here and carry the 4. And of course I get 9. 
And so I get 9763, which is a very close to 9800. And so the total number of trades uh, workers that were needed for this project turned out to be 9,763 people. Okay? From the nine trades. Okay, have a great day.